Hey there, this is Jamie Champion, developer of the Vibrancy Path. And today I'm going to be talking to you about how you can strengthen your power of hope. Now this is something that all of us need to do from time to time. Because let's face it, if you're living your life without hope, then you're probably being cynical. You're being cynical about your future, or the country's future, or life itself. You know, it's sort of the the big challenge that we all face in, in life is if, if we've given up, uh, even the expression having false hope, I always kind of wonder about that because it's like, let's face it, if you are concerned about the future, you know, for yourself, for your kids, you know, where are things going, it always takes this vision, it always takes this ability to let's weed this garden <laughs> and start planting the seeds that we believe in are going to create a sane, happy, prosperous, joyful future for all of us. And so without hope, the expression says we all perish. And, and that's what, what we're going to be teaching you how to do in the next few minutes is you're literally going to be repatterning and vibrationally getting yourself in alignment with having more hope so that you can clear away the struggle, clear away the dread, clear away whatever is bristling up that's blocking your view of your future, your view of a brighter future. And every personal, professional relationship needs to have hope as a very foundation. So we're going to do this in the next few minutes. We're going to start by holding what we call the violet point on your body. And the violet point resonates right here to the belly button. So we're going to be taking your thumb and middle finger, putting it on the belly button, and we're going to be going through a series of affirmations. Four rounds. We're going to be first speaking the affirmation, then we're going to be singing the affirmation. We do that because we're repatterning the left brain, repetitive thought in your head, and then the right brain, the images that you hold in your mind about your future. All right, so let's get started. Let's put your right hand on that belly button spot and repeat after me. I am hopeful. Let's do that three times. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. Now do a little blow clearing. <sighs> Shake it out a little bit. <sighs> See, what you're blowing away is all the times in your life that you haven't been hopeful, that you were feeling downright depressed and concerned and stressed about, about the future. So let's strengthen that right now. Left hand, same spot. And let's now go, I am hopeful, three times. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. I am hopeful. Do the blow clearing. <sighs> Clear away that stress of <sighs> dread, hopelessness, anything that was not resonating with hope. Awesome. All right, let's hold once again. Now we're moving on to stage two which is, I envision a bright future. Let's speak that three times. I envision a bright future. I envision a bright future. I envision a bright future. Do the blow clearing. We all need to envision a bright future for, for ourselves, for our kids, for our kids' kids. It's for like the, you know, a good visionary is thinking, 100, 200, 300, 500 years in the future. What will life be like? And what am I going to do to plant seeds for that today? So let's put your left hands on that belly button and sing. I envision a bright future. I envision a bright future. I envision a bright future. One more time. I envision a bright future. Clear? So you can always do these affirmations, you know, seven rounds, 10 rounds. Do them until you feel like the resistance inside you is clearing. That's really what this violet hope is all about. It's like clearing away the weeds, the stress, the cobwebs in your psyche that let you see exactly the future that you want to envision for your world, for your life, for your family. All right, let's move on to the next one, which is I clear all distractions three times. I clear all distractions. I clear all distractions. I clear all distractions. Do the blow. So, you know, distractions are the weeds, are the thoughts that are not productive, that are not positive and, and, and hopeful. 
you know, let's say anything that's not an in, a positive outcome that you want in your life is something that's poisoning and toxifying your life. So let's keep strengthening the positive envisioning of hope, clearing away the weeds, because let's face it, you just got to plant one seed. The rest of the job is simply weeding around that garden so that seed can grow. All right, left hand on that belly button and I clear all distractions three times. I clear all distractions. I clear all distractions. I clear all distractions. Blow. So again, that blowing sound is literally you sort of saying, you know, when I'm filled with the tension of not having hope, I got to get that out of my body. It's got to get out my fingertips, out my toes, out the top of my head. It needs to leave because I can't function in this body when I'm hopeless. So let's go ahead and do the fourth round. Right hand on the belly button. You're going to speak, I am a visionary. Let's do that three times. I am a visionary. I am a visionary. I am a visionary. Blow. So you want to be part of the solution. And being a visionary lets you come up with ideas. You come up with possibilities for the schooling system, for transportation, for you know economies that work, for cooperative relationships. Like, What is it that you think needs to change and have a brighter view of reality down the road? It's up to you to be that visionary, be that change agent, and it starts with a vision. So let's put the left hand there and sing. I am a visionary. I am a visionary. I am a visionary. One more time. I am a visionary. Blow clear. <sighs> now, once you've done the affirmations, recommend that you take one of the uh, vibrancy essences. This is the hope essence of violet. Usually, I take about a third of a dropper full. Now, what's happening is my cells are starting to go, oh, I love the feel of that violet energy. That violet energy is something that literally makes my life more hopeful, more sane, more productive, because every individual, every company, every country, every facet of our life, if it's not living with this hope, it's in a state of decay. So we always need to be regenerating and realigning ourselves with this power of hope. So knowing that when you do that, anything is possible. So until next time, this is Jamie Champion, developer of the Vibrancy Path, hoping you have a day filled with hope.